Hey all, this week's uh, five minute message is just composed of a few reminders before we enter this holiday season. I know some of you probably feel like we're already in the holiday season, but the real big kickoff starts here as we prepare for Thanksgiving. And the holidays are magical and marvelous and there's great fun and there's great food. Um, but the idea that it is the most wonderful time of the year, we all know that's a bit of a misnomer, that as great as the holidays can be, they also put us in contact with difficult people. They place us in difficult and unpleasant situations. Um, old hurts, old wounds can be opened. There's just a lot that we often have to deal with during the holidays. So I just wanted to remind you all of a few things before you possibly go into some of those situations. And the first is that you are a beloved child of God that that is at the heart of who you are, it is at the core of your identity, no matter what you do for a living, no matter what your relationship status is, uh, no matter how life is going for you right now at this time in history, you are a beloved child of God. And so is everyone else that you will gather together with this season, all beloved children of God. So no matter what someone says to you or about you, you are a beloved child of God. No matter how badly you may want to jump across the table and strangle the person sitting across from you, they are a beloved child of God. And if you need to go and lock yourself in the bathroom and just use that as a mantra and say it to yourself over and over again, beloved child of God, beloved child of God, beloved child of God, until you can really embody it, you know, you just feel free to do that. You do what you need to do. Beloved children of God, one and all. The other thing that you need to know, or one of the other things you need to know, is that you are not responsible for meeting other people's expectations. I'll say that again. You are not responsible for meeting the expectations of others. You are a beloved child of God, and all you ever have to be is the person that God created you to be. All you ever have to do is live into becoming the person God has called you to become. And that is between you and God. It has nothing to do with Aunt Mildred's expectations of your relationship status. It has nothing to do with the accomplishments of your cousins or the kids who grew up across the street from you. You do not have to meet other people's expectations, not your job. All you ever have to do is be the person God created you to be. And then finally, you need to go in managing your expectations. You know the people you gathered with last year? If you're meeting again with those same people, if you're going to be gathered around the same tables with the same group of people, they are not going to have changed. Your racist uncle, still going to be racist. Your great aunt Mildred, who keeps bugging you about when you're going to have a baby, probably still going to ask you about that. Your cousin, who keeps asking, really? You still don't eat any meat at all, not even on the holidays? Still gonna be puzzled about why you're a vegetarian. So go in not expecting those people to be different. Go in knowing that they are going to be who they are and be ready to accept them, if not embrace them for who they are as you gather around the holiday table. Again, remembering the love child of God, the love child of God. So know, again, you are a beloved child of God. You are not responsible for meeting anyone else's expectations. But go with your own set of expectations about the other people with whom you'll be gathering. Know that they're going to be the same people they have always been. And whatever you need to do to be able to have a happy and healthy holiday with those people, Start working on that ahead of time, knowing that they're going to show up just the way they are and that you are allowed to show up just the way you are. So I hope everybody has a happy and healthy holiday season. 
Um, if you haven't had a chance to sign up for our Getting Ready to Get Ready um, as we prepare for Advent, um, there's a link to that um, in the comment section here or in the description section of this video. And um, sign up for that and we'll be talking a little bit more about how to make sure you have the kind of holiday that you really want this year. So have a good week and I hope everybody has some fabulous celebrations ahead.